Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. You're looking at an artist's rendition of a large asteroid somewhere in the neighborhood of seven to 800 feet wide. We have one coming close to the Earth right now as I do this video. This is its location. Compared to the Earth, 2025 FA22. This is a large NEO that's very close to the Earth right now. On the 18th, it's going to be closer. That's its close approach to the Earth. You can see over here at spaceweather.com on the, the NEO list, the very long NEO list, the ones that that are highlighted are coming exceptionally close to the Earth, and this is one of them. It's 166 meters wide. That puts it at around 550 feet, but they're saying that this thing could be larger, somewhere between 500 and 900 feet. Once again, the close approach is coming up in just a couple of days, September 18th. The thing about these large asteroids is they don't usually travel alone, and there was an incident that occurred in the skies above China just around 96 hours ago. Article over here at the Mirror .co.uk talking about China intercepted meteor or UFO as fireball streaks over the sky before disintegrating. And here's a still image of the event that occurred above China. This is in video format. We're going to analyze the video. You can see this object right here in the field of view. This is what's being described as a meteor or possibly a UFO. Here's the video footage that I analyzed. We go in close. I put it in slow motion. I'm not quite sure that this is a meteor, but it wouldn't surprise me as we do have a, a large one in the neighborhood. And again, these things don't travel alone. We'll probably see an increase in meteorites in the atmosphere over the next four, maybe five days. 9 12 of 2025, ZMC captured this on video. You can see the, the collision right there in the sky above China. There was a different angle. Here's yet another angle, the object appearing to arc across the sky, and then right there it disintegrated. We're going to put it in slow motion, zoom in even closer. Here we go. You're going to see the object right there it collided with. It looked like they intercepted whatever that was. It may very well have been a meteor, but the, the arcing motion of that thing implies that this thing originated from the ground, not necessarily from the sky. Who knows? They're describing it as possibly being a meteor. Here it is in a different format. Light is dark. Dark is light. I was just trying to pull forward any possible features, and there was nothing to pull forward. This was a rogue object, basically unidentified from this perspective, it could have been a meteor and it could have been some sort of a, another object that appeared from the ground and then was intercepted right there once again in the sky above China. We have two other objects in the inner solar system, quite possibly more than that. We've been following Atlas. Here's the orbit diagram of Atlas. Here's the, the orbit diagram of SWAN, the, the newest comet that's going to come closer to the Earth than Atlas. This is where it's going to be on October the, the 20th. So be ready in mid-October for a possible spectacular show in the nighttime sky. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, today's feature photos were sent by Amber Watson and Karina Watson out of British Columbia of some spectacular aurora spanning across the sky above Canada. Looking at the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, all quiet the last 72 hours. Looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun, you would know we're in the middle of solar maximum. There are few, if any, sunspots facing the Earth. Right now as I do this video, we still have the the, the large coronal hole, and there's been a little bit of activity from the, the energy from the coronal hole. You can see there was a brief spike just after midnight last night, only lasting about three hours. Looking at the Schumann resonance, all quiet the last week. Not much going on. And speaking of not much going on, there's no activity out here in the Atlantic, Caribbean, or the Gulf as far as hurricanes go. So don't expect any type of hurricane activity over the next five days. Even the Sahara sand has, has quieted down some. The once massive plume that was out here earlier in the summer that spanned over 4,000 miles has gotten much, much smaller, so there could be some activity over the next couple of weeks, but we shouldn't see anything over the next five days. Have a very cool photo to share with you guys sent in by Derek. I believe Derek's out of Canada. Check this out, a hexagon halo in the sky. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos or photos that, that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, come over here to the homepage of the website, MrMBB333.com. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox, drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching, have a super day, and be safe out there.